Hi everyone, hope you're all having a great day. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much and welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of an explanatory video to explain what is anemia, what are some of the symptoms, and what are some of the causes. There's been a lot of questions around this topic from previous videos that I made, specifically the one I did on facial signs of anemia, and again, I want to thank all of you so much for sharing your story in the comments. And again, I was completely blown away by the amount of women that are struggling with anemia and low iron. Today's video, I wanted to go into more depth on what is anemia, just to help you understand what it is, what is happening to the body, and some warning signs and things that you can start to recognize to address to your doctor or try to get treatment for. A lot of the symptoms for low iron and anemia can be confused with depression, can be confused with blood pressure issues, but the underlying cause needs to be explored a little bit more. And as you all know, I'm extremely passionate about informing you on this topic to make sure that you get looked at and treated so you can really live your fullest life. Because when you're not feeling well, it's very difficult to, to stay motivated and to you know, decide on what you want to do and what direction you want to go in. Your health is number one. I want to help you feel better and get your health back on track. So I want to start off with the medical definition of anemia. Anemia is a medical condition in which your red blood cell count, known as your hemoglobin level, is lower than normal. To know the cutoff when and where your hemoglobin levels are too low, for men the cutoff level where your hemoglobin is too low is 13.5 grams dash 100 milliliters. For women, the cutoff is anything below 12 grams per 100 milliliter. Anemia is caused by either a decrease in production of red blood cells, known as hemoglobin, or an increase in loss, usually due to bleeding or destruction of red blood cells. So again, some of the common symptoms of anemia, and I know this firsthand because I have struggled it. I have struggled with it for most of my life feeling tired, uh, feeling fatigued a lot more easier, pale skin, sometimes have a feeling that your heart is racing, feeling short of breath, or you feel like you have worsening heart problems. Anemia is detected through a simple blood test and is called the complete blood cell count test. So that will look at your hemoglobin levels to see if they're in the normal range. So there's some other symptoms that you could be experiencing and that is hair loss. So if your hair is feeling really brittle or it's falling or thinning uh, and just overall feeling of just very um, bland. You want to do things, you want the energy, you're, you know, you're mentally wanting to do well or to go after a passion or a dream but there's something just keeping you from doing it and it's not your motivation, it's an actual physical problem that could be getting in the way. One of the causes of anemia is iron deficiency. This is because iron is a very essential component for the, hemoglo for the hemoglobin production and it's essential for its function. Chronic blood loss can be a cause of low iron. So for example, if you have very heavy menstrual cycles, and that is what my case has been, if you're losing a lot of blood, your iron levels are getting depleted, you're losing your iron level, therefore your anemia is coming on. Anemia that is caused by low iron levels is called iron deficiency anemia. Another cause for low iron could be even internal bleeding, so stomach ulcers or blood loss within the internal system that can also cause your iron levels to go down. Like I said, doing a complete blood cell count that that type of blood test will help to determine what kind of anemia you may have. Now there's another kind of anemia and that's called aplastic anemia. Aplastic anemia is a life-threatening form of complete bone marrow failure. As a result, the blood contains inadequate numbers of red blood cells as well as insufficient white blood cells. Complete bone marrow failure causes all three cell lines produced in the bone marrow to be inadequate, a condition referred to as pancytopenia. Aplastic anemia can occur at nearly any age. 
its onset can be sudden or gradual. So there are other causes of anemia and low iron is something that I did talk about. I talked about two different kinds of anemia. B12 deficiency can be a cause of anemia. So again, making sure that you check your B12 levels or get those tested through, the blood te uh, through your blood testing lab or through your doctor, you'll be able to see, you wanna look for your hemoglobin, red blood cell count, your B12 level. And those are the things you wanna look out for. And as far as treatment or getting rid of anemia or even getting your iron levels up, it does take time. And what I'm going to do in my next video is I'm going to show you what my ferritin level, which is the iron level, how it changed within a few months of me consistently taking supplemental liquid iron. Um, I'll be doing that in the next video. Again, a lot of you have shared what has helped you in your treatment of anemia. A lot of you have shared some natural alternatives. Some of you have shared uh, iron injections that have really helped increasing vitamins and other levels and what I'm going to do is again in my next videos I'm going to be talking about some of the things that you guys have shared with me that has helped you increase your iron level and help and help with your anemia because as you can see there are so many people struggling with this issue and it's not something that we should be taking lightly. Again, I really hope that this video helped. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you're discovering that your iron is low or that you're struggling with anemia, share your story down below. And if, if you have anything that has helped you personally, increase those levels, also share them with us. I love reading your comments. I love responding to them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!